Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today I'm going to be trying the new IGK um, Color Depositing Mask. This is in the shade Brown Bella. This is a rich chocolate brown. And I just hope that I'm able to kind of get rid of these highlights. These highlights keep coming through. And I mean, it's not very obvious, but... I wanted to try this out and see how much more different this is than the permanent color kit that they had that I actually tried. That one retails for $25 and I think it's good. I just feel like these highlights keep coming through and I just kind of don't want highlights now. This actually retails for $29 and the color kit retails for $25. So I'm just trying to figure out why this is a lot more expensive than the color kit. And this is a semi-permanent mask. The color kit is a permanent color. So I'm just trying to figure out why this one is more expensive. I'm also going to be answering some questions as I go. I did a little Q&A on my Instagram. So I'm going to be answering some like hair care questions, some maybe life questions so let's get right into it so there's a couple different ways that you can use this product so for a sheer color effect just apply to clean wet hair and leave on for one to five minutes so you can literally put this on for a minute rinse it off and you're gonna notice a little bit of a difference on your hair if you want it to be a little bit more intense then apply this on dry hair and leave on your hair for 10 to 15 minutes i'm a little confused why this did not bring gloves because the color kit does bring gloves and most of the time when you do get whoa most of the time when you do get a color kit um you do get gloves and this is a semi-permanent color mask so i feel like this should bring gloves and it even says in the instructions to apply with gloves so why don't you provide the gloves that's so weird um so i do have some medical gloves here <laughs> that i was able to get at my parents house so i'm gonna be using that today this color depositing mask is not designed to cover grace so just keep that in mind the darker the hair the more subtle color depositing effect I wonder how long this is going to last on your hair like after how many washes are you going to notice it to kind of fade i'm sure it's just gonna fade with time okay first question straightener dyson or ghd ghd 100 the ghd is way better than the dyson corral the dyson corral is just not my favorite it's so expensive it's double the price and the battery life is it's not my favorite <laughs> so ghd straighteners all the way i love the one inch i love the two inch they're all really good which brush dryer do you recommend regardless of price the dry bar double shot is nice i love the round brush it is very nice and big it gives you a nice smooth blowout i love that it has bore and nylon bristles and it actually feels pretty gentle like it doesn't really pull my hair it doesn't really damage my hair over time either so it's a very nice hair tool i really like that one if you want something that's even more gentle get the t3 micro airbrush duo for blowouts though lately i've been using the dyson supersonic with the dyson round brush i'll put a video right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but that one is actually really really good that blow dryer i can see why so many professionals use it because it's so good it really does give you a nice smooth blowout it does take a little bit of getting used to and some practice using the blow dryer on one hand and the round brush on the other hand just doing that movement so it does take a little bit of practice but that blow dryer is so worth it i feel like that is definitely the best dyson hair tool that dyson has um the og supersonic it gives a nice blowout and it's not damaging and it has a diffuser attachment that you can use and the white tooth comb attachment to give you some lift at the root i feel like most of you guys asked that question a lot so i hope that answered that question um do you like slugging so slugging is when you put like i guess vaseline on your face like a lot like overnight i've never tried it so i might try it i've heard really good things about it so you just pretty much apply this like if you would with the hair mask but this is a color mask so yeah 
It smells really good. Do you recommend the Dyson to someone with really wavy or frizzy hair? The Dyson Airwrap, not too much. But the Dyson Supersonic, yes, 100%. I've tried everything with the Dyson Airwrap, but it just leaves me with so much frizz. And I feel like if you have very frizzy hair, try blowing it out straight from pretty wet or damp hair. I would say not completely wet, but if you do blow out your hair from more dry hair, you're going to get more frizz. Also try the Good Behavior line from IGK. It's really nice for controlling frizz. And I actually really like the leave-in conditioner from Way and the finishing cream from Way. I feel like it gives me such a smooth blowout. So soft. So soft. And those products actually control the frizz as well. So I'm going to link those down below. Those are definitely like my favorite ones that I use to prep my hair before a blowout. Best straightener for the sleekiest hair look. I love the GHD. Is it Max? The 2 inch one? Yeah, the GHD Max. That one gives me such a sleek look. And also the 1.5 inch T3 micro hair tool. That one makes your hair so straight. Like if you want that very sleek look definitely get that one you use heat quite a lot how do you protect your hair so i actually protect my hair from the heat by just using a lot of heat protectants i love the igk good behavior heat protectant i like the dry bar prep rally spray i also like the way finishing cream i always put heat protectant on my hair before putting heat on it it's just like a must. <laughs> so I'll link some of my favorite ones down below if you guys want to check them out. How's the married life going? It's going really, really well. I am very happy. And yeah, we just get along and we just, we're having fun. Kenya and I always spend so much time together. We're like best friends as well, which is so important, I think, in a marriage. Honestly, it's been amazing. We love to travel a lot too. And we just understand each other. We have really good communication, but yeah, we're definitely doing super well. So thank you for asking. And if we plan on having a baby, I got a couple of baby questions too. No, not yet. <laughs> I just turned 28 and Kenny did too. We just turned 28. And we have so many plans and goals that we want to achieve first and yeah we're just not really like trying for a baby right now i just feel like so young still and like i don't know i just kind of want to wait till i'm like 30 at least <laughs> i need more hair tool videos i miss them oh i love hair tool videos i'm always going to post hair tool videos on this channel like forever <laughs> but yeah sometimes i just like to give my hair a little bit of a break especially in the summer when i kind of don't have to put heat on my hair because I just leave my hair curly and I'm good to go and also if I do try to blow it out in the summer and it's super humid my hair is going to get frizzy anyways right away it's going to get poofy so it's like what's the point of doing all that putting all that heat doing all that work for it to not even last what hair oil I use for hair growth I love the Fable and Mane oil that one's probably like one of my favorite ones and that's the one that maybe i've been using a lot more lately recently i discovered the whey serum i've been using that a lot on my hairline love it and i love that it's not like a oily greasy consistency so you can use it in between blowouts you can use it on dry hair it's not gonna look heavy on your hair it's just like a very light serum kind of like a skin serum texture you know it's not like too oily it's definitely fine to use on dry hair it's not gonna mess up your hair i also really like vegamore vegamore is super nice for hair growth um so i'll link that down below and yeah those are definitely like my favorite ones what is your greatest goal in life that's a very good question i just want to be happy i want to be healthy i want my family to be healthy and i just want to like travel the world with my husband with my future kids, with my family, and yeah, just want to be happy. <laughs> I would also love to make it into a Sephora squad, <laughs> maybe next year. I feel like next year is going to be the third time that I'm going to be trying to get into it. So if I could do that, that would be amazing, but I'm happy with what's 
happening in my life right now and the opportunities that I'm getting. But yeah, definitely making it into the Sephora squad would be one of my goals. I don't know why, I just really want to be in the Sephora squad. It sounds so fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go rinse this off now and i'll show you guys the final look so i'll be right back hey guys i'm back and this is what my hair looks like i love the color it's so nice and dark and my roots just look a lot better now i feel i definitely can't see the highlights at all which i love and i just wish that this could stay like this forever <laughs> because i really really like it so i might end up purchasing the igk hair dye kit in like a dark brown almost black color i just like dark hair on me so i'm just gonna stick to that until i'm able to kind of grow my hair out again into my natural hair color i'm just gonna keep dyeing it into like this darker color but i definitely love how my hair looks it looks super dark like my natural hair color this is literally like my natural hair color and i kind of wish i never would have dyed it because before dyeing my hair before getting highlights i didn't dye my hair for a whole three years so i got pretty used to my natural hair color and i just feel like it suits me better it kind of goes more with my features and it just looks more like me more natural so yeah i'm gonna stick to the darker hair color but yeah really really love this igk hair product um wow i used all of it and i think it was worth it i think it's pretty good i am going to keep you guys updated in like a month and i'll let you guys know how long this stays on my hair but love it definitely love it um but yeah guys that is it for this video let me know your thoughts i'm gonna link everything down below all the products that i recommended i'll link them down below i'm gonna link down below this if you guys want to try it out and yeah subscribe to my youtube channel if you're enjoying it so far we are 3,000 subscribers away from 100k subscribers that is insane we're almost there i can't wait so yeah if you have not subscribed please subscribe so that we can get there to 100k and yeah guys that is it for this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye bye